Welcome back to Ratchet and Clank. Uh, Angel and Angel's playing. I'm here as well. Um, Danny's on a bit of a vacation. It's a very small vacation. It's a one video vacation, if you will. Um, so we decided it's been... I'm feeling stupid. I can't do anything. It's been a spell since we played this game, too, actually. We took a break from this for a while. As you can see in our in our video history, when we uh, marathoned a bunch of Dragon Age, which was fun. That was that was a lot of fun. But we decided to put this back up because a lot of you guys liked it. So I mean, and, and honestly, this is a beautiful game and it's a fun game to play. So we're we're definitely in, in, interested in it and excited about it. So yeah, this is exactly what they wanted to see. Menus. Oh my God, it's making me do all this right now. Uh, we'll just do it then. Just get it out of the way. Uh, the dangers don't even... Oh, you actually have... These are your upgrades. Okay, so we yeah. can pick our upgrades. All right, oh. fuck it. Yeah, let's do that. You know what I was also thinking, too, is that I have... I wonder... Oh, Modder. I'm, I'm excited for this movie to come out because... Like, I've never... I, I never even played Ratchet and Clank ever. I've never even played a Ratchet and Clank game. So for a movie, it'll kind of be cool. I pre-ordered the movie, and I am so excited. Yeah, I, I, I feel the excitement. You're oh, super enthusiastic. Dude, you have no clue. I fucking, oh, I love this game so much. All right, cool. Now we're back in action. What the fuck was that thing? Uranium. You're, you're, no, what did you just call me? You're an asshole. Oh, yeah, thank you, but fucking tell me something I don't Which know. Way am I supposed to go this way? You're asking me like I've ever played this game. No, I fucking... It's still the same places that you had to go... Right. So it's one of those things where I just gotta try to remember. You're dying. Holy shit, you almost died. If that goes... If that goes, like, all the way to the bottom, you die, right? Yeah. It doesn't start taking away health. You just straight die. I just die. And that's fucking scary. Like, I've drowned so many times in this game. But that's health. If I can just get back up. Yeah, exactly. You know, is it like the same mechanic as if, like, if you go underwater and you haven't, uh, and you have health taken away, then you can get all your health back if you go underwater and come back up? Mm -hmm. That's like the same. So it's the same as the Mar old Mario mechanic. In like yeah, Mario like if you 64. go underwater and you're just like drowning. If you just go back up, you're all good again. No, no, no. That's not what I'm saying. Like in Mario 64, for example, you could have one little bar of health. If you dove underwater and then came back up, you would have all your health back. Is that? Yeah, the moment you get air again, you're perfect. So yeah, even if you only had one health oh, before wait, you died. Oh wait, shit! There. Fuck! I didn't. Oh shit! I know where I'm going, and I'm gonna hate this next part. Oh yeah. It takes me a while. Oh, that's entertaining. Every single time. It doesn't matter right. how many times I fucking do it. So is that the only weapon you have right now? Is that giant uh, wrench? Yeah, no, I got this. Oh, that was cool. I think I have grenades. Yeah, I yep. Got this. Oh, oh wait, I just threw it. Just, Whoa. There we go. Well, you wasted a grenade, so there's That's that. Okay. Dude, I get ammo up the ass. Why do you put ammo up your ass? I feel like it'd be better if you oh, used no, it go, go, to go, its go. actual purpose. Okay, so I so I can. Like Take yeah, die. get as much air as you can before you go down yeah. for sure. Yep. So this game intrigues me because again, I've never played it, and I did just finish Uncharted 4 though, and holy you fuck, that game is amazing. Like like yeah, I mean, I definitely have the time now because I just finished that other game. I don't, I don't like to run more than a couple games at a time, unless they're like Skyrim esque games. Like if I have, if I'm playing Skyrim, I don't even count that as a, you know. It, oh, it was itches like motherfucker. But I usually will devote, if I get really into a game, I'll devote all my time to it. And the Uncharted series took that one for the past couple of months, has really kind of taken the, the front seat. And now that I have finished that, if you guys have any suggestions of other cool games that I could play, like, not even just on the channel, just other games that I could play, I would be very much appreciated. These guys are fucking, like, on steroids. Because I'm, like, I'm, yeah, I still play Call of Duty and stuff like that, but... At the same time, I wanna I wanna be able to get a new game that I can play that lasts me a really long time, because Uncharted, while the series and the storyline was amazing, it just it was short. It was it was really short. I could, I beat the first one in a, like a day and a half. I beat the second one in about the same time. And the third one, I, it took me a couple days longer because I actually took my time with it. Um, but I marathoned through it because I got so addicted to the story that I just wanted to be able to 
see what happened next. And I think that's my biggest problem with video games, personally, is that I do that a lot. I don't know about you. Thank you. Like, I'm sorry. I'm like having fun. Like, and then they get but do you have that problem at all? Like, die. where you get so into the story of a game that you end up missing a lot of the little things that they've hidden because you're just burning through trying to find out what happens next? Nah. I like a lot of the games that I play. I'm just like getting right into. Actually, no, I take that back. I'm not one of Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. See, I used to be. That that's one of the main things that I used to be bad about. I mean, I wasn't. I I take and do that a lot with games where I'm just like, I'll just like get through it as quickly as possible, I guess. Yeah. But then I go back and I play it again. Yeah. Like well, I always play a game two to three times. Just so I can if it's a good sure game, I, I if it's a good game, I agree with you there. I will definitely play. Uh, I, I will play, play the whole series so again because my goal is now that I've beaten each game individually. I'm gonna crank the difficulty up and try to find all the treasures because I think that'll present more of a challenge. But let me tell you what: there was one um, in the second game that was fucking almost impossible. That was just drove me absolutely insane. Such a great game though. Um, was the ending to it. And I'm not going to spoil it because it will probably end up popping up on this channel at some point in the future. It might not be anytime soon, but it will eventually make an appearance. Um, as will the third one, which the they're, towards the end part, it's just... Some of the shit was so difficult, and my biggest problem is I am oh, a... Oh, this wasn't the part I thought it was. I'm better at games that are cover-based games, I... so I can roll behind cover, take cover, pop uh, up, fire a couple shots. Well just to be tactical, and not run in and dodge bullets and shoot people. And if, if they come around and they're able to flank me, I'm fucked. Is generally, like, that is the, really my biggest weakness as a gamer, and I've obviously tried to work on it, but it is tough, because I am definitely a... Oh, the proton drums, yep. Um, like, I act like I know what they are. But that's my biggest weakness as a gamer. I don't know about you. I don't know if you do the same shit. Like, you like to hide behind cover, pop up, fire a couple shots into someone's face, and then... Yeah, then I duck back down. Exactly. Chill there for a bit. I've seen people, though, and that's like a that's a similar strategy that I have in Call of Duty as well. Like, sometimes I'll run around and just kill people, but a lot of times I will I'll hold a position down and kind of bounce back and forth. I love this, especially between... with the robots. Yep. And we're about to face a shit ton of them. Oh, cool. Yeah, I definitely like it when I, like, I try to get a this set location. Nice. I remember this. I remember this watching beautiful. you play this, and you died a lot. This is so pretty. It is a very beautiful game. This game is really beautiful. Um, but I do remember... Um, Those little things are so cute. Could you, it reminds me of Goddard from fucking... Oh my god, Jimmy Neutron. Jimmy, yeah. I, didn't, I wouldn't even remember his name. Fucking loves that show. That is hilarious that you just said that. Oh, I chose this one. No, I don't want to go that way. Oh, well, you can't go that way. Wow. That was stupid. Well, there you go. It That's only took stupid. forever. All right. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly get everything. Yeah, for sure. You don't want to miss anything. No, and plus I really need the bolts. Get up. You're dying. Oh, man, you almost died. I like how that can explode directly under your ass and it doesn't hurt you. It's like when you eat Chipotle and sit on the toilet. There is an explosion. I've never eaten Chipotle. I've had Chipotle once, and I've never actually been brave enough to do it again. That, and honestly, I, I'm trying to cut back on the amount of fast food or, and or, you know, dining out that I do. Because I am somebody who should not have to live paycheck to paycheck, but when I spend ridiculous amounts of money on Subway and Moe's, and I am a sandwich guy all day long, so if I don't have sandwiches at the house, I'm going to end up buying them somewhere else. But, yeah, that's one of those ones that I've... The closest one for me is about 45 minutes away. So I really don't have great access to it anyways. So it wasn't one of those things like I'm, it's, I'm passing by it every day. Because otherwise I probably would have walked in and tried it. But, you know, I, I definitely am into the burrito thing. I just got to be in the mood to want to shit my pants. But I have a fiery butthole. Because uh, when I go for the spicy stuff, I do the spicy stuff. Wow, nice. You're racking up some nuts. Just kidding. Those are bolts. I just wanted to say nuts. Like D's nuts. Got him. And luck. Oh. Okay. I like, the, I like the system. This game reminds me so much of Jack and Daxter. It really does. That's another game that needs a resurgence on the PS4. Jack and Daxter. 
Because that fucking game was the bomb, man. If I ever find the ability that they have fucking remade... The ability. If I ever find that they've remade that game for PS4, I will absolutely buy it, and it will definitely be on this channel. Because... The original Jack and Daxter was by far my favorite. I didn't play any of the other ones because I thought they were stupid. And my friend had Jack and Daxter racing or Jack racing or whatever. And that one I played a little bit of actually, but, but I didn't care for it. I wasn't a fan. I don't know about you know, anybody else, but it wasn't something that I enjoyed. Simply because it was it was just a racing game. It was a it was a cool different racing game. I'm not even gonna bother wasting any fucking time. But if I want a racing game, then I'm gonna. Oh, you just got your ass bit. They bit your direct asshole. Because they just took away half your health. Nah, it wasn't them. Uh, it's those fucking dudes that are. Shooting big old balls of hatred at you, I understand. It's like you can throw something back, though. Wow. So now everything we're seeing right now, Captain Quark is talking. Is, is yeah, telling. he's talking about this. It's his story. Um, I'm out. Spoilers if you've never fucking played a Ratchet and Clank game. I don't give a fuck. About well, we already we already met Captain. Quark. Um, yeah. But I'm going to talk about the other games. The games are... They've been out for a while. Like, you can't even be mad. You can't even get mad. Like, you've had a chance. Right, but spoilers. But fucking spoilers, anyway. Uh, wow, what a glitch. That was kind of cool. Did you even see that? No, I missed the it. The boxes were just floating in the air. That is neat. All right, yeah, anyways, your spoilers. Um, so, you find out in... At some point that Captain Quark... Even though everybody thought he was a really good guy, he was a superhero and all that shit, he's actually a bad guy. And he, Ratchet ends up showing everybody what he really is. And he, so he's angry about it. Yeah, well, then he's in jail on this one, Ratchet's so. a good guy. Like, Ratchet's a hero, okay? Like, he's a bro. He, he is a bro. He's a bro man. He's a bro man? That's not a thing. Oh, oh don't. Yeah. What the fuck are you? Fire! Yeah, yeah. Fuck y'all! Fuck y'all! You just used all four of them. Not myself on that. Why would you do that? Because I don't give a fuck. This game is very intense and fast-paced. I will definitely give you that. That is really fun. It's fun to watch, but it looks like it'd be more fun to play. So yeah. definitely, if you guys haven't picked this up, it, it definitely would be something to at least give a rent to and let us know what you think about it. Because. I'm entertained just watching it, and I hate watching people play video games. Unless they're, like, on YouTube. Oh, there's both. Which is funny, because I never thought about that before. I hated sitting in my, in my like, room or whatever watching someone else play a video game. because it That's just, because you wanted to play. It just made it's me like, want to play. Fuck you. But when I'm watching, like, a Let's Play on YouTube, I actually am super entertained, and I love to just... I think it's the personalities, too. Because watching someone else play, they're just sitting there with, probably if they're me, with their tongue sticking out of the side of their mouth. And just literally though, it was the cutest fucking thing. And just playing, no and just playing, you know, whatever game that I probably want to play. And either a, they were doing it wrong, so it bothered me and made me want to do it for them, or they were just they were silent, and it's not fun to sit while somebody's silent playing a video game. I've seen actually like walkthrough games or like playthroughs where people just don't even talk. Shit! Oh, I just died. Well, hello. Oh, where people shit. just just die, and I mean not just die. Wow, where people just don't talk, and I'm like, how is this entertaining to anybody? I mean, I'm not judging you. If you're entertained by it, that, that's awesome. You are a better person than I am, because I require at least some sort of commentary or conversation. I want to feel like you know I'm in the same room and playing the game like with you, or watching you play the game while we're just chatting, because that's cool. You are getting fucking murdered right now, but you leveled up. You leveled up at a good time. You leveled up at a very good time. I know how to button mash like a pro. You're a, yeah, everybody does. It's not a hard thing to learn. Oh dear, more of them. <laughs> I love Clank. <laughs> oh dear, more of them. Dude, Red Bull. So is this a place where we could like, you know, pause? Not a sponsor, but like Red Bull, man, you're my bro. I love the Red Bull, especially the new um, the Kiwi edition, the Kiwi Twist, the summer edition. Oh, you mean the one that I have right yeah. now? Yeah. So basically, this is gonna be. Uh, this is not a paid 
advertisement. We swear to God, I, we'd oh love it to be God. because Red Bull is Spons like me, Red man. Bull is my spirit animal. Seriously, I would not get through half of my days if I didn't have a Red Bull. Um, that that comes with working twelve hour shifts and then coming home and trying to do some recordings too. Like you have to be peppy and you want to like you, you want to have fun with it, you, but you're just so fucking tired. That's what happened one day. The, the only reason I knew about but this th- one is because I got lost over here one nice. day. So I was just but I think know. that we're going to end this episode here. So thank you guys we'll so much. We'll know right here. Yeah, we'll know right in the corner. Bury your face in that bush. That's gross. But thank you guys so much for watching, as always. If you like it's our videos and you bush. haven't subscribed yet, please do so. Because if you do, then we post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday at 1230 in the afternoon. So definitely uh, something to look forward to every week. And we do post on other avenues of social media. But like I've been saying for... You know, three months now, uh, there are days when that I'm not home or Angel's not home or, or Danny's not home that we can't get those videos shared on other outlets um, until maybe even the next day or a couple days later, sometimes even yeah. up to a week later. So if you want to be able to see these videos as soon as they come out, you know, hit that subscribe button and you'll be able to see them a lot easier. And uh, if you like the video, definitely give us a thumbs up and leave a comment letting us know what you think. If you have any constructive criticism for us, feel free to leave it in the comment section. We really appreciate it. I can't tell you guys how much we appreciate it because... You know, we're still relatively new. We're in, we're three months in. I mean, we I, I have experience doing it. Angels have, has experience doing it, and we've been watching YouTube for years. But it's a whole different ballgame when you start doing it as a group. So we definitely appreciate all your constructive criticism. But thank you guys so much again for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. You ate all my peanuts. They were. I only. No, had... you left me one. You're such a dick. I left you one peanut. Wow. I love peanuts. Fucking asshole.